Hello everyone, etc. here, bringing you episode 17 of Sky Beast 2, a mod pack by Valve. Well, the last episode was so much fun for me. First off, we did we got our A2 system down and got into auto crafting, and then I went into a too long time lapse. And I'll have to be honest with you guys, I just can't help myself. I'm having so much fun with this mod pack. And not being able to play as much as I want drives me nuts. Uh, these nice drawers, they don't really mean a lot. So they were taking a lot of space upstairs. So I basically made two setup right here. In this setup, I put all of the combs. So it also has the advantage of having less of these uh, distribution lines. And I've got everything here and still place for some more. Basically, I just went like uh, in a size of 11 and I kept some space behind in case I needed to export and the corners I used just trims. So right here, I have all of the, I think I have 84 combs set up right now. And then I decided to duplicate the same on the other side where basically everything that has a compact form is a, in a compacting drawer everything that doesn't have a compacting form is either on its own drawer or in a quad drawer so example this i'm not going to get infinite this i'm not going to get infinite so these two quad drawers enough there is an argument saying that these should probably be in their own drawers but maybe i'll change that later same for salt and niter and stuff like that so I got that for now and we'll just address it later. And what I did is instead of moving those drawers around, I used this beautiful uh, modular router. Oh, see, string. String gotta be put somewhere. So let's grab some string and put that right here. So basically, I used a modular router with stacks upgrade and speed upgrade. And I basically went ahead and emptied all of this setup and I still need to clean the head. So one step at a time, but look at this. It's so empty. I now have space for a lot more setup. And I tried to reproduce the roadway here with the, the switch to wood for the B hotel. Basically started replacing the floor. Like I'm gonna get this to looking really nice. Didn't like the fact that this was here. So I moved it in the corner back here. And I'm probably going to also set up this somewhere else. And I want this main center area to be more of my like workshop kind of thing. I also reconnected this quickly just so that I'd be able to use it. And I dinkily connected it downstairs with like a terminal right here. But the idea is like, I'm going to want the terminal here so that when I'm working, I don't want a terminal around here. So when I'm working here, probably a terminal around here probably set up like a terminal next to the B setup, like just set myself up to have access to whatever I need. I also need to move this altar. So basically um, there is an automated way of getting blood, which is called the well of suffering. That's something I'm totally going to want to set up, but I'm going to set up when I move this blood altar, like in a corner around here in another episode. So what I thought I would do today, since I have so much more cleanup and base setup to do, I figured I would just like do a little bit of quest cleanup. So we finished start, like let's get into Tinker Construct and just finish it. So for Tinker Construct, we need a Tinker's Chest. So let's just uh, bookmark this and go, okay, I want to make a Tinker's Chest. I'm going to need one uh pattern so let's come back here we might need more than okay i'm gonna make more patterns because you know what no sorry 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 let's grab those two i'll make more after because the recipe is already set and i can just do uh, this and get the tinker's chest that's one thing done then right here we need to do a cast chest so for the cast chest uh let's we're going oh we're going to need any kind of cast so let's grab a little bit of gold. I kind of wished I had done this properly to begin with. Let's put that in here. And while we're waiting, let's do that and let's go sleep. And we're going to grab, we're, we're going to make a, an ingot cast. It's just 
so much simpler because I can just basically come here and grab a seared brick. Seared brick, like so. And let's do this. My gold should be melted by now. By the way, uh, I also put diamond on my iron pickaxe and I put diamond on my uh, axe right here just so that they would last longer and be better. So let's just finish doing that, which means I'm going to have all of the iron, apparently not. Now I'm going to have all of the iron taken care of. And I probably, I think an enderman ended up going into the smeltery and killing himself. Anyway, so let's put a seared brick right here and cast a uh, mold on it so that we can grab this. Let's go back. And we're now going to be able to do this. Hmm, I didn't bookmark it. So let's just go back and let's just go bookmark this. And let's craft that. Oh, what is it that I'm missing? Seared brick. Oh, wrong, wrong seared brick. This is the one I want. Let's just do this. And then let's do that. And you know what? Because I made the cast chest. Uh, sorry, I... I feel like I need to sneeze, but I don't want to. Let's grab these cast and put them in here. See, Urgh. that's why I don't use these crap thing. Like this is so annoying. So you know what? Forget it. I'm not going to use you. You've just ended up annoying me because this one cast is not recognized. So here's what I'm going to do. Bye, -bye and. Adios. Let's just continue with the cleanup. Okay, so we got all of that done. Now we need a couple more casts. We're going to need a gem cast rod. You know what? Okay, let's come here, make some pattern. Um, make some pattern. Like this. Let's grab some palanks. And let's just go back here and let's make the missing cast i'm going to also need you know what let's just make sure that i'm maximizing my time usage gold let's grab some gold and i don't know how many casts i'm gonna need to make let's just put 18 ingots in there just to be sure okay so let's just go right here and check we need a tool rod gem small plate tool Well, okay, uh, rod is on a stick. So we're going to need a stick. We're going to need a, an emerald. So stick and then an M emerald right here. Perfect. So that's three of them. Then we're going to need a small plate, any plate basically. So plate. I don't have any plates, so plate. They're an easy one. Oh, all of them are made in annoying manner. So just gold. Let's grab a gold ingot. And basically, how do you make that? You go right here to the multi servo press, remove the gear working die, and just let that become a standard plate, which is going to make it the next cast. Perfect. What other cast do we need? We need the nugget, the tool binding. Tool binding is right here. Nugget is basically going to be any nugget. N uh, nugget. You know what? I find it kind of funny making a gold nugget cast with a gold nugget. And we're going to need to make the coin. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Hmm. Yeah, so we're going... To need the numismatic die, which is for, for invar plate. So invar, one, two, three, four. Let's come right here. So this is going to be oh, a weird cast where we're going to basically be making four plate and then we're going to have the normal. So let's, while we're waiting, so this is going to be the full plate, which I'm not quite sure why we're doing because that is not a cast per, cast per se. Then we're going to need to make a jewel cast and then a rod cast 
and then the tool handle cast and then the plate cast and then a nugget cast and a uh, wooden tool binding cast let's grab that and come right here we now need another emerald that's going to give us an invar coin i believe oh no just sorry a, a numismatic uh die which means we can now grab some gold i don't know how much probably not more than two i'm gonna guess that it's one yeah it's one so we're gonna get a gold coin again just for the lols because it's kind of cool use oh that gives us three so that's going to come right here and say well now oh god stop jumping all over the place <gasps> this was way harder than it should ever have been let's put all of these cast in here and oh nope 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 okay it's in the right place and then we've got this whole quest line done so let's just go and boom boom don't need you and nope i don't want to throw anything else away i'm going to replace that with that and we should be good so let's look at the all other ones for the other one we need broad hammer blade tough handle so let's come back here so hammer broad blade broad axe and tough handle i believe let's come back right here and do these that should be a whole quest i don't think that we're going to need any of those and if we do not anytime soon let's just make them and put them hey that's what we love to hear guess what another quest line done resourceful bees okay so for resourceful bee that i don't think that's going to be doable today so we're at least going to do something so let's go right here and say apiary oh no 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 not like this so let's go apiaries nope let's go downstairs because i need not the fluid I guess I'm no longer connected to that tank, but it's not the end of the world. So we're going to make a tier one and hear what we're going to do. See, do we want to use the wood. I'm going to use the wood honeycomb for now. Not necessarily in love with using those, but let's go with those. So this is a tier one apiary. This is going to be a tier two apiary. Is this on item substitution? It means it can use any comb block and we can go tier three. And then we can go to tier four. This is just mind-bogglingly crazy a craft. And if I go that back down, so tier four is going to be this. And then tier three is going to be this. And then tier two. And then tier one. And then the beehive itself. Voila so now technically we've got a whole chain and i've got four auto crafter yeah that's what i thought i'm going to start running out of space so let's just go ahead and i don't know where i grabbed this from let's put this in here we're going to need a what's it called a an interface oh i have got one right here and I'm going to need a, you know what? This is something I'm going to need a lot of. So let's just make an interface cast. And then we're going to need a molecular. Nope, not here. Sorry, right here. A molecular assembler like this. Perfect. And first class we have crafting table. We did not make a pattern for. Can I make one quickly? Oh, no. <laughs> I need another crafting terminal. Let's just see. Can I make one? Please tell me. Oh, yes, I'm going to be able to. Let's just do this and this. We're going to need so many more of these. Uh, we're going to be setting tons and tons and tons of them. Move this out of the way. 
put it right here. Let's put that right here and let's put a cable. Do I have cables anywhere close? Yes, 28 right here. Like this, and then we can go. Oh, perfect. So now the next step is we need to connect. Uh, we need to be getting these things. So right here, all of these we need to have access to. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab a tall grass and a short grass. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put a tall grass in a quad and a short grass in a, a loan. And in the loan, do I have any upgrades? I'm out of upgrades. So of course I'll come. I really need to make some more crafting terminals. So let's just grab some upgrades. I'm going to say this and just give me 10 oh, or 11 because I did plus 10. So upgrade. And 8, 9, 10, 11. Perfect. Let's grab some cables. Uh, 10 was not a proper number. I should have made more. Anyway, like right now, I just need to get things done. So just let's get things done. And an importer, which I don't have a crafting for. So I'll just make one like this. Emmy import bus and piston. See, that's something I probably should auto craft. I'm going to set. Wait a minute. I think I forgot to set that back down. So let's just go sleep and let's go. Oh, come on. Where did you go? I almost died out of that crazy let's just go right here and sleep and by the way the reason why I'm always so damaged is because of the stupid uh, fall damage so I'm really going to have to do something about this at some point uh, and by when I said some point I mean when I start caring about it aha perfect so this is going to take care of my piston issue so slime bulls <laughs> 10k yeah, not a problem. Not like in Tecopolis. And then an import bus, like so. So now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to grab some item pipes. I'm going to grab some advanced pipe. And I'm going to try and connect this in the most disgusting way possible. Because, let's be honest, it's not like it really matters. I just need these connected for a moment. Okay. And then I'm going to need a chest. I, of course, don't have a chest on me. So I'm going to come back over here and grab a chest. I do know that I have a couple of chests. So, yeah, chest right here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a chest right here and an importer right here then i'm going to grab these and go boom 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 and then i'm going to set all of those out to export with the proper wrench right here and i'm gonna go like this and like this whoa Gotta be more careful, man. Really gotta be more careful. Anyway, so this is going in here and this is being imported, but not fast enough. So let's go and set up a couple more things. So right here, we're going to make some speed card. So acceleration card right here, like so. And then advanced card, like so. And then stack and speed upgrade so stack at ae applied speed oh no they're called acceleration and there's is there not a stack card 
no there it doesn't seem to be a stack card well that sucks let's just set it up like this and put those in here and i'm going to say acceleration so i can go back upstairs and acceleration card i'm going to say give me four of those two three four grab all of those and then we're going to come here and go boom yes that's exactly what i wanted to do And these are slowly emptying. Great. Empty. 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 Perfect. So all of this is now imported into our system. I control all of that back in here. And if I come back here, let's see. Can I make an apiary tier four? Of course not. We're missing oak plank and we're missing. <gasps> no, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Joke aside, let's just do two more patterns. So one is going to be a plank pattern. Like this. Perfect. And the other one's going to be a wood. Wood honeycomb. Like this. Great. And do we have space? Uh, nope. 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 Oh my God. Okay. That, do you know what that calls for? Guess it. Guess it. Come on. Interface. We're going to need another interface. Great. Interface. Grab that. And it's going to require another molecular assembler. Probably should make more than one. Right now, I'm just trying to get through things. And this is more of a relaxed setup episode. One thing at a time. Let's put that right here and right here. And this is one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be six channels. So we're still good. Do this. And you know what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Acceleration card. Do I have what it takes to make 25? Yeah, it's a bit slow, but that's why we want the acceleration card you're going to see. Great. So we're going to go downstairs and we're going to change things just a little bit. Go in here. We're going to do this and we're going to make sure that the plank is in here. And then we're going to make sure that the uh, wood honeycomb thing is here. Then we're going to make sure that tier one is here. Tier one and three. So one, sorry. So that's a tier one beehive tier two so the basic and the tier two and the tier four here and the apiaries i'm just going to move this down so then i'm going to say tier one tier three and these two and you know what i'm going to put all of the apiary in this one because at this point these are not going to have so many crafts so acceleration Five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Okay, so now that we have that, let's see. Can we even make one apiary tier four? Wow. The answer is absolutely not under any condition possible or imaginable. Well, this kind of sucks. So what about an apiary tier one? Can we do that? Yes, we can. So let's just do an apiary tier one. And that's probably something that would be nice to go and look at downstairs. You know what? It's going to be finished already. <laughs> so the time it took me to go downstairs, it finished. Okay, apiary. So let's do a tier two. And we can't. 
So the next reality is pretty simple. We're going to grab all of our Kabbalists, if I can find them. Oh my God, I'm it's so hard for me to see. There are cables in this. I'm not finding the cables. Oh, I put them in the system. So let's just make some more. I'm tired of running out of cables. Cables, cables, cables. Come on. Done. Let's go downstairs. I'm going to also make two more pattern. I'm going to say storage bus. So an ME storage bus like this and a sticky piston like this. I think I've already created the recipe for piston. So let's just put those right there. And I also want to make some importer and exporter. So let's come right here. Importer. Export bus. ME import bus. So this one. And export bus. Like this. And I think I already have the external storage is not. Yeah. Storage bus. Sorry. So let's just come right here and go back upstairs. And this is going to be external. No. So storage bus. Right here. Give me one of those. Um, storage boat, terminal style. Keep. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, that's what I want. So this way, when I search for storage, I'm not going to lose it. So now we're going to turn on hover mode. And then we can come right here and say, this is the drawer controller. This, and let's put that right here. And basically, we're going to connect this. Oh, God, this is so dark. Okay, like so. And we're just going to go to the other end to connect this. Oh. Okay, so we're connected. So technically, since we're connected, and if I go upstairs, I don't think the apiary should be a problem anymore. So if I say apiary, let's say I want a tier two. Aha, yes, we should be good. Let's do that. Start. So a tier two is basically four tier ones put together. And haha, look at this working. Oh, it's already finished. I, this is way faster than I was going to expect to be on it. Oh, let's turn off the hover mode because it's a bit annoying. Let's go back upstairs and let's grab this one just in case. Can I make a tier three? Um, okay. Oak. I have 2036. That doesn't make sense. If I say plank, did I not make a pattern? Hello. Okay, this is extremely strange. I put it here. Let's go back upstairs. I don't know why that wouldn't work. If I say plank, this. Now it works. Okay, so let's say a Pierre. Can I make a tier three? Next. I am shocked, but apparently we can. So let's make a tier three a Pierre right now and sleep while it's crafting. Ha, ah, it's still crafting. So this is a craft that seems to take a lot longer. Yeah, you can see it. This is so beautiful to look at. Look at all of these nice apiaries being built one at a time. And the amount of resources required to be able to make this is the reason why we're, we're going to be building apiaries for a 
couple more episodes. And what I mean by that is uh, ever so and so, once the resource goes high, we'll be able to make the next tier apiary. Oh, and it finished. So let's go upstairs and grab a tier three. So we now have a tier two. We now have a tier three. And can we make a tier four? No, not enough wood honeycombs. And okay, so the reason it says not enough wood honeycombs is that it's trying to use the wood honeycomb to make wood, I'm guessing. So let's say oak. I have so much oak, it cannot be that. So let's just do this. Just want to see if I do this and I push all of that in here and I go back and I say apiary. Say, I want this one next. Yeah, so I don't have enough string and I don't have enough wood honeycomb. Although this is supposed to be hmm, honeycomb block. See, it should be able to use any of these honeycomb block any of them so there really is no reason this is what you can call annoying yeah let, let's just do something quickly uh honey uh no so b jar yeah, let's grab some b jars oh and which one's the one that i want the most from don't really care about those, so let's go upstairs. I don't know which one I really care the most about, to be honest. Let's say these. Okay, so let's let's deal with these ones. I'm gonna come right here and I'm going to say export. What the heck is going on? You know what? Let's just do it the old fashioned way. Basically, what I was trying to do was to put them all in these, uh, in these jars. It's not working. Let's just grab them as we go. And wow, we've got more than expected. Let's use the B box then. So grab the B box right here and grab this one. And this one. Is there any left in here? No, there is not. No dangers of being killed by a bee. So let's remove this tier one apiary. And let's put this tier 9, uh, this tier 3 apiary. And let's just put it the wrong way to be sure. Okay, so like this. And now, if I put all of these back out. And let's just continue. Let's just continue all of these out of here voila okay so all of these are out so all of these are gonna go in and i don't know if we're going to see it on time you know what let's just come over here and this should be this last one so let's remove that puller for now and see we should start seeing something beautiful look at this we're not getting eight honeycomb we're getting four honeycomb block and all of this now is just going to be producing honeycomb block. so this is massively good so if i come back here and i ask for an apiary and i say give me a tier four so see this is going to be annoying because it's asking for wood honeycomb but all of these are replaceable, so it shouldn't be... Oh, and it's also too big of a craft. Okay, so can we make another tier three? Yes, we can. Uh, no. No craft... There's a crafting CPU right here. What do you mean? What do you mean no crafting CPU available? 
Okay, so apparently we can make some tier 2, but not some tier 3. So this is basically what I should do, is that in a, pre in a future time lapse, I'm just going to make a couple of tier 2 and just slowly start replacing because that's basically doubling the quantity of uh, material that I'm getting. If I do this, will this work? Nope. So if I go here and I say, give me another tier two. Yeah, this one won't work. And I should have replaced the one with the wood, to be honest. That would probably have been the most efficient one. That's another tier two. I am kind of curious as to know why it didn't use this one. The crafting should have used the one that's already done. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do three tier three. Hey, what, what the heck are you doing system? I don't know why it's not letting me do this. So do three. It's not missing anything, right? Like everything's there. I'm confused. There's something that's not working and I don't understand why. Just break this and put it back to see if that's going to make a difference. One, two, three. Can I only make one? Oh, well, that worked. I do not understand what's going on. This is crazy to me. And it's not letting me make the last one. It's not telling me what I'm missing, but it's not telling me I can't make it. Oh boy. This is a very bizarre situation that I'm in. Okay, so if I come right here and I say hive. <gasps> oh, this is not cool. Okay, so for whatever reason, it doesn't want to craft with my existing hive. Okay, so I've got all of the hives out of here. And then I can say, let's just do it manually. So these tier two needs to be transformed into tier three. So let's press R on this. And let's do this and say, yeah, this one and this one. And this one, and I don't care that I'm using Lapis, to be honest. Lapis is not a big concern for me right now. Let's just do all of these into the next tier. So, almost done. It sh I thought for sure it would reuse. In my opinion, it should have reused. This should not have been a problem. Let's grab all of those. Perfect. And these should be made into tier four. Like so. And what am I using? Diorite. No one cares. All good. And then these should be made into apiary tier one. Great. So now, tier four. Can I order a tier four Ive? Yep, yeah, I can. So that's going to be or more perfect so tier two tier two tier two those are two tier ones those are more than two tiers one tier ones okay so tier one into tier two into tier two another tier two so i need two tier one apiary Okay, so I'm kind of out of wood. That being said, these tier two can be made into tier three. So now I have two tier two and another tier three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go replace the one where the wood is because the wood honeycombs the thing that I need some more. 
Wood honeycomb. Nope. Where's the wood bee? Where's the wood bee bee? Right here. So this is the one that we would want to extract. Let's just do this. Still need to wait for these to come out. This shouldn't take too long. Grab you. You and you. Box B, let's go. And you and you. These are all the bees. Nothing can sting me or kill me. So let's remove you. Let's put that back. And Aaron, I'm going to put a tier 3 Pierre. Perfect. And let's just make sure that we're freeing all of those cute little bees right now. Okay, so we are now making, we should start making, you know what? Let's just do the same thing we did before. Take two seconds and let's remove this just to check up and make sure it's all good. <clears throat> tier one, tier two, tier two, tier one. Oh, it's night. Probably not doing its business. It's beesness because it's night. So let's just sleep and go back. Okay, so now it's starting to do its business. And there's one wood bee in the hive right now. Just wait for it to finish. Slimy bee's gonna get out. Next one's gonna get out. And then the would-be, which is the one I'm really looking for to do something. The moment the would-be is out, I'm expecting the next would-be. Oh, they're all doing it at the same time, which is kind of cool. So is the next would-be doing its stuff? Come on. Where's the next would-be? Why is this bee being passive? That's kind of annoying. Anyway, see? Eight honey, wood honey, blo uh, honey block comb. So we're all good. We can come back right here and put that back in, which means they're all going to transfer downstairs and I should have wood somewhere here. Dirt. What looks like this right here? Wood. I've got 42 wood honeycombs. Perfect. If I come back here and I come and look at the apiary tier two, tier two, I need a tier one apiary. Can I make another tier one? Tier two, tier two, tier one right here. This is so bizarre. Okay, so let's grab all of these. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Tier two, it's like this. I did the wrong recipe again. Just one second. Okay, so tier two, like this. Oh, perfect. Okay. Can I get another tier two? No. Can I get another tier one? No. So the wood honeycomb, I'm not getting wood. Why is it not replacing? That's really bizarre. It's supposed, so basically it's supposed to allow using any other wood comb. Okay. So let me go back up here. And if I look at the uh, honey comb, the one that I have them, oh, I'm going to put myself on the num sort by number of items descending. So Lapis is the one that I have the most. I don't know. Like, honestly, this is something that's being very bizarre because all of these should allow substitution. Let's grab tier one and this one. And then let's grab this one and this one. These are the four. Let's just remove all of these. Go, oh no, stay right here and put, nope, I did it wrong again. So let's just grab, let's search for Lapis. 
and that's a lapis honeycomb and this one right here. you know what let's just search for honeycombs again which is the one that has the most zombie sort item by number of items so sand you know what sand and cobblestone are going to be two good use case so let's just do sand and grab one of these and let's grab cobblestone and grab one of these put the lapis back there and let's do this okay so again hive one no not oh so this one i have to redo the pattern it doesn't use anything so tier two uh i'm not going to use the lapis on this one i'm going to use the sand okay and see priv oh allow substitution of input component that's why perfect so tier three i'm gonna go right here and i'm going to say that for tier three use the cobblestone half cobblestone and half sand and allow for item substitution and then for tier four we're going to go again same thing we're going to do half sand half cobblestone and perfect great so let's go back down here and no we're we were already down there so let's put these two right here and these two right here and let's try that again maybe we'll have a better result right now apiary so we have one two three tier two can i make nope can i make a tier two apiary right here yes we can amazing this is exactly what we want that's going to give us another tier three apiary let's put all of that in here tier two so now from tier two we can make a tier three great and we've never made a tier four so that would be great can we make one tier four no you won't let me of course can I make a tier three? No, you won't, of course. Can I make a tier two? Start. Well, that's going to be a tier three, so that's going to be another tier two. I wonder if the wood's really the issue. I'm just not 100% sure, but let's make another one. Yeah, go. Okay, can I make another tier two? Okay, now it's asking me for wood. And here's, okay, here's what I think it is. Let's go back down here. And if I come right here, let's grab all of these four. Perfect. And let's reset them. I believe that these were also not allowing substitution. So let's come right here and say pattern grab these patterns put them there and then let's go and search for apiary right here apiary we're gonna go tier one apiary nope 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 honeycomb block and you know what we don't really care about the silver so let's make the tier one silver let's make oh okay it does allow substitution so this is going to be tier two Tier two, we're going to use the slimy like this. Oh, tier one. Nope. So I'm going to have to do this properly. So tier two is going to be with slimy. Like so. I believe the way this works is that it's going to try to use the one that we've set as the default first. But if the default's not available, it's going to look for a substitution. Perfect. So that's tier three and tier four should kind of be the same thing. And we're not going to use this one. We're going to use the dirt. Like so. Great. So if I come back here and I put all of those in here, now will it work? I make another tier three. So 
apiary and tier three yes we can so that's going to be oh okay so tier tier three was a bit aggressive but since apparently we're allowed to make it let's make a tier three and i i want to make a tier four because i'm in the quest cleanup mode so oh it finished no it didn't finish Okay, so while we're waiting for this, we want to make an apiary breeder. So apiary breeder right here. We need a apiary storage. Oh, come on. So, oh, tier three right here. We're going to ask for another one. And we can't because of string. How do we get string though? String. We get string from leaves. That's pretty much the only way we have of getting string. Wow, this is not ideal. And you don't have any leaves anywhere. So I'm going to have to figure out another way of getting strings right now. Okay, so tier three, apiary, tier three, apiary, tier two, tier two. And so let's go back to apiary. Can I make two more tier two? That's one tier two. And while we're waiting for this, we're going to go uh, hive or apiary. Let's do this. Let's do a hopper. Oh, tier two. So tier two, tier two, tier two. Can I make another tier two? No, we're now out of string. Great. So now let's just try and make this. This. And then let's make an apiary breeder. Perfect. What's the other quest element? A breeder upgrade. Okay. So let's make a breeder upgrade, which needs a gold storage. Let's need an iron storage, which needs one of these AP. Oh. Okay, just give me a second. You're just being difficult. Let's make a couple of these. So that we can go and do one of these. Into one of these. Into the gold one. Into this. And I'll be honest. I have zero intention of using those two things. I did it just for the quest and a breed I'm upgrade. Perfect. So let's go back to this. I'm going to need one more of these. One more of these. One more gold one. And it's one gold with four clocks. So one, two, three, four. Well, let's just do this with four clock. Perfect, which I can put in there. And right here, we have everything except the elite centrifuge and except the tier four apiary. Okay, so let's look at the elite centrifuge is 35 plus one. So we need 36. So we need 36 block of netherite. Okay, netherite's a problem. So let's just look at this. This scrap, how do we get these scrap? Blasting is one. This is one. Here we get two, but I don't want to use starlight infusion. Energized smelter is one. Enrichment chamber is two. Perfect. So let's go downstairs. Let's come right here to the pattern. Let's do this and let's say enrichment chamber. Put ourselves in processing mode. Try this again. Enrichment chamber like this. Come on, ancient debris. One ancient debris is going to give us two of those. And you know what? We can do this right now. So netherite. Sorry, netherite. Right here is going to be like this. And I'm going to make a pattern for the netherite block because even though I'm going to put it in a drawer where it works, it's better to just do it this way. So I'm going to do this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's come back right here. And I have my patterns right here. Good. Am I really out? So this is fully used. 
this is fully used. I still have two right here. Perfect. So let's do that. Let's go upstairs and let's put that in the energized melter, which is no, the enrichment factory right here. So if I put this right, I hate you. Come on, get your head straight. Put this right here. Perfect. So if I come here and I say netherite, I want 36 netherite block. Next, uh, no crafting CPU available. There is a crafting CPU right there. So if it's not letting me, it means that it's using too many, uh, too much. 4,000. Oh, come on. So let's make 30. Yeah, that works. That's so dumb. So let's make the 30. Once the 30 are done, we're going to make an extra six. Uh, if I come back here to the elite centrifuge, uh, we're going to need block of centrifuge casing and block of redstone. Okay, so let's come back here. And yeah, we're going to grab this one. I feel like we lost all of the honeycombs block that were in there. If that is the case, I am really not happy and it's dumb. So let's go right here and let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven, 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 thirty-six, thirty-five. Come on. Come on. I was not going to count all thirty-five of those. That would have been crazy. So let's go back here. We're going to ask for a flux point. Which it can't because it's still making my netherite. Yeah, still 30 netherite to make. This is going pretty fast. I'm kind of happy about that. But let's come down back here. Is this... I don't see any of those crafting, which I'm not sure I understand. If I come back here, scheduled 30... So for whatever reason, it's just doing this without crafting. Oh, because only one crafting CPU. Is that really the reason? Because that's kind of annoying. This is all done. Oh, this is just being dumb. Cancel right here netherite how is this thing not working you know what i don't understand what's going on this is really annoying this should totally work and of course there's monster nearby so if i go like this and i grab some gold like this, I'm just going to make them manually at this point. I, I'm going to figure out what's the error with this crafting recipe later. 30. Perfect. So let's come back right here and say netherite. And let's say five more. It's not going to craft them, but it's at least going to be doing... Oh, that's uh, not... That was a mistake because we know it's going to block this. And we know it's not going to craft it, but if I'm completely honest with you guys, I, for the life of me, cannot understand why it wouldn't do this. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm being dumb. Put those in here. And these are crafting pattern. That's why. So let's do this. And then let's do the block like this and that was the dumbest thing i've done in a while but no sorry let's not call it dumb let's call it derpy because yeah i'm just a derp so let's just cancel all of this and if i come back right here netherite i'm gonna say one two three four five of those start and that's gonna work yes it does work choosing the proper thing is like super important okay so let's go up here and this is the same principle where 
we're going to this is going to go down to one we're gonna go 35 35 35 and this is absolutely not gonna work because i don't have a flux point so let's go right here and say flux let's grab a flux point like this and some energy cable which i hope are in here energy new so they must be in here or they oh they're right there i was going to say or they're lost and then we need an energizing we need our rods one two three four perfect so now we're going to go this and we're going to go oh god one two three four energizing orb and let's select the network and let's remove bypass all limitation and right here we're going to say pull out these oh we've got these perfect so now these are making the centrifuge thing that we need and while we're waiting for these centrifuge thing what's the other one that we need to do we need to make the elite centrifuge casing so we need an elite we need an extra casing perfect so let's come right here uh centrifuge oh no that's not gonna work i need an extra centrifuge casing so these i'm gonna need a waxed machine block right here and i'm going to need five netherite uh not five four two three four perfect so remove oh remove 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 i'm gonna let all of that finish then we're going to say let's make this extra centrifuge casing which should go really fast and now that it's gone i'm gonna go centrifuge casing oh oh okay so let's do these first do this this and this perfect so these are now transforming got another centrifuge casing right here and these two so that's 26 28 okay these two needs to be in here so if i come back here this centrifuge controller is going to need an elite centrifuge casing which i should have transformed okay so elite centrifuge controller with a centrifuge controller perfect so that's done and now i just need the 35 other casing apparently so 25 25 25 yeah so we're just going to let this continue slowly and do its thing while we're waiting for this to do its thing let's just look at the other quest we still haven't made the honey generator so let's come right here honey generator honey generator like so perfect never going to use it so let's put back in there so basically to complete this quest line we need a tier 4 apiary which unfortunately is not going to be anytime soon so if i come back to apiary and i say give me another tier 2 see it's not i i need to solve my string problem and to solve my string problem i'm basically going to turn this back on and turn this back off and yeah so turning this back off should turn this off okay so this is off and i just need to turn this back on so we should now be uh killing mobs in the standard way again you know what one thing that i'm going to do though is just i'm going to go and get rid of all of these mobs because the sound is annoying
Sorry, I got silent for a second because I didn't want to die. I got distracted. And this one died in one shot because it was close enough to the altar. Okay, so all of these things are gone and out of the way. And this is not emptying, by the way, just because we do not have the proper setup. That's something I'm going to fix in my time lapse. But see, these should start just dying normally again. We're just going to have to fix the uh, modular router to send them these things to the right place. Yeah, I'm going to set that in my time lapse right now. I just need to have things continue working well. And hopefully we're going to start having more uh, centrifuge. Uh, not sorry, not more centrifuge, more. Oh, more something. I don't know the word. More string. Whew. Okay, get rid of that too. Let's go back in here and let's just go look. So quest wise, you know what? Let's just do while we're waiting. I don't know that it's really the best use of time, but I want to try and finish a couple of things. I want to finish these quest items. So I want a stack upgrade, speed upgrade and stack upgrade and network collection interface and network exchange interface. Okay. So the collection is going to need four speed upgrade. And this is, I really don't need these things. I just want to get them done. So if I go here for speed upgrade, one, two, three, four, if I go here for stack upgrade one. Oh boy. Blaze. Yeah, let's just do this so that we can complete three, four. Perfect. And then I'm going to need a storage inventory. Or make two of those. One and two, put those in there. So stack. I don't know if it got detected, put them in my inventory. No good things. I did that and speed. Same thing. So do this network collection interface and this network exchange interface. And those were only for the quest. Perfect. So this is all done. This is all done. Now we're going to need to make a quantity key. Oh, I don't even know if I can make a quantity key. That's going to be interesting. Get rid of these. So let's make another drawer key because I don't want to lose the current book like the this and then we need a quill and paper is there i cannot because of the ink sack there's no okay so that's going to have to wait for when we spawn squid 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 we need to spawn a squid i think this is very simple yes squid seed plant underwater Of course, I'm going to need a piece of dirt. I just tried in case it would let me. I, I did not expect it to, but I had to try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. Break this down. Oh, break this down. Put a dirt and put that right there. Oh. I can't run. Can I use bone meal on this? I don't think that I can, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh. And we got the squid sack. Perfect. So that's a quest item at the same time because those things, the squid thing is a quest item. So key. No, let's just do this. So I need a book and quill like so. And then this and this is going to give me the quantify key, which I don't need. And oh, we need to make all of the storage upgrades. So upgrade. Let's just make one more of this. 
Perfect. And then let's search here for upgrade. And we're going to make a gold upgrade and a diamond upgrade. Perfect. And which one am I missing? A silver, well, both of them. Okay, so basically it's one of each. And it wasn't a silver, it was an iron. And an iron. Perfect. So all of these quests are done. And then we need to do the, the chest. So the at chest. So we're going to do an iron chest right here. We're going to do a copper chest right here. Okay. The copper chest can be upgraded to an iron chest like this. An iron chest can be upgraded to a gold chest like this. An iron chest can also be upgraded to a silver chest like this. And the last one is the big chest is an obsidian, a crystal and a diamond. So, sorry, diamond first. So diamond from this. And can we make a diamond from a silver? Yes, like this. And then the diamond we can make into a crystal and into an obsidian. And these are really big chests, but I don't care about. But that's another quest line done. Perfect. And then in the next episode, so basically now I'm going to kind of be done with this. Do I have 34? I need a 35th one. So let's just come right here. Can I do this quickly? Netherite. Give me one of these. And then redstone. So one redstone one netherite right here so that technically should be all that i'm missing for the elite centrifuge i ideally want to upgrade all of them but as you can see it was a bit expensive so that might be something for later and we're only going to be missing the uh tier 4 apiary so apiary oh no i don't have enough stuff Okay, so this should have been the quest line for this. If I come back here, resourceful bees. Yeah, this is all done. Okay, so elite trend centrifuge. And basically, this is a centrifuge, but that's just way faster than a normal centrifuge. Let's just do this. And we are going to want to upgrade all of those look at this one two three four five six yeah it's crazy so let's just put that right there and let's remove that that we're going to place back and where's my where's my wand i have way too much stuff here probably need to do a little bit of cleanup here also so basically look at this there's only three and it goes 1001 1002 1003 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. This is six, and it goes 1,001, 1,002, 1,000, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. So this is just way faster and way better. And I'll, you know what? When we get all four of them into elite centrifuges, we might not have enough. Like we might need to dedicate one import for each. But this is just going to be processing resource much faster. So right now, what I want to do is I really want more string. And I'm honestly annoyed that there isn't a better way to get string. What is the flax? Maybe we could make flax into a phytogenic insulator. That might be a good way to go and just make tons of flax like this. Because flax is one to one versus the leaves. Like, I don't have an easy way of making leaves. So anyway, I'm now going to go in a time lapse. And the goal of the time lapse is going to be to continue to rearrange my base. Basically, this I'm going to move here. This is going to be my uh, centrif like my my island for pressurization. And I'm going to set up another island here if I have time, which is going to be for industrial foregoing, basically for these fluid stuff. And this main place here is going to just be my workshop where I'm going to put more machine 
And um, you know what? I might even want to automate this. Like, I have so much stuff to do. It's not like if I don't know what to do, but it's still going to have to be a small time lapse because now just doing quest cleanup, we spend an hour and 15 minute recording. This is just crazy, guys. Uh, in my time lapse, I'm definitely going to be replacing all of the apiaries that I can for tier three because that's already a big improvement over like the tier three basically is quadruple. No, it's even more, I think. It's like, I think it's times five. Anyway, losing way too much time. I definitely need to go into my time lapse. Let me finish here because that uh, elite centrifuge is the main gain of this episode. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.